Hi guys, I have another new to me um, puzzle brand here to review and this is from um, Pink Sky. I'm not really, really very familiar with um, the brand um, and I've been seeing um, Pink Sky puzzles from Marshalls, TJ Maxx or um, um, Home Goods. So it's either of those. Um, these scam stores. I haven't seen them anywhere else. Um, they're not in the bookstore either. So um, this is a pretty decent uh, puzzle, I would say. Um, I got this last year, guys, but um, for some reason, I wasn't just um, not into this. Um, although I love the image, but not so much <laughs> uh, because I had more interesting puzzles um lined up so this was just uh, in the storage somewhere um buried deep down and finally um yeah i took it out and it's about time for me to review okay so as you can see um uh this would be twelve dollars and 99 cents uh the discount store already so maybe the retail price would be like 19 dollars or something okay so um this is a 1000 piece puzzle let's start off with the box the box is pretty okay it's it's um it's yeah it's not luxurious but it's very um it's still very sturdy and that's the back of the puzzle okay guys this was very difficult because it did not have a definitive it's like the colors were just everywhere. You can see colors down. It, it was just distributed. And um, yeah, there was no solid color besides this, <laughs> besides the sky. So it, uh, I have found out that it is more difficult to build um, a puzzle that has like a, an illustration or illustrated picture uh, because it does not have um, like a realistic color to it so <laughs> it, it was very very difficult guys it took me a long time uh, at some point I, I i was just not doing it for how many days so it was just you know sitting there um anyway so the puzzle is a rectangular box and um yeah it, it's not a sturdy it has no linen finish but it's still uh, quite decent okay so let's uh, it did have um it had a minimal puzzle dust and um let me just show you um uh, this it has white cardboard back backing which is really really neat yeah but um, the only criticism i have with this um puzzle is that there were there were some pieces that shouldn't go in other spots, but they did. So, but it was uh, quite easy to determine though, but it's just that, um, you know, you would be confused because they would fit perfectly in places that they shouldn't belong. So it's up to you to you know, like check. And, and there's no, um, the, there's no clicking noise that I really, really love about Gallison and uh, Ravensburger, but it's still, uh, it's very, very glossy. Um, it's very glossy. I, I had uh, a little bit of, um, a little bit of, uh, of struggle identifying, but um, it's just that this was a, a very complicated puzzle and there were only two, I would say two um, types of, uh, cut two or three so very very th that is not um a disadvantage but um you know it's just that uh sometimes it would help if there are also um some other shapes <laughs> i only see two or three yeah so um yeah that's it so let me just show you the entire um picture it's really really very um it has like a matte finish here, but um, it's really, really nice. Yeah, but uh, I would say uh, for the price, uh, it's still expensive for the price, guys. So um, I would suggest you wait for, it doesn't uh, interlock, but it wasn't as bad as I've expected it to be. You can transfer 
ch big chunks so that's one good thing it did not dis <laughs> it did not uh, break apart so that's what i really appreciated on this one so uh pink sky so uh, a pretty pretty decent um puzzle i would rate it probably um six out of ten or probably five out of ten um the price is uh, quite expensive for it's a 1000 piece for um the quality but you can see the picture came out okay but uh, it's just that difficulty guys this was difficult it, it it was because the color was just uh, spread out so there you go guys okay bye